<laughs> uh, let's continue our art theme here on the 215. We're going to take you to a fairly new hotel at 17th and Chancellor. It's called the, the Hyatt Centric. And we are going to meet an artist named Natalia whose work is on display there, and it is really cool. Mm -hmm. I kind of wanted to encompass women that impacted various aspects of the arts. For the Georgia O'Keeffe painting, she's known for her like animal skulls, or her ram skulls, and just these beautiful, like very like muted palettes. Her character just did not change throughout her entire life. Like she just only did what she wanted only did it when she wanted to, and like only participated in things that she had a desire to. So I think that that kind of translates to a lot of the people that are featured in the exhibit. It's really just kind of like pioneers, like game changers, rule breakers. There was a book, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, that I read for the first time only two years ago. And I was just like blown away because she experienced so much trauma and so much pain and just suffering throughout her entire life. But she finds this way to use the most beautiful, delicate language to describe it. <laughs> Ruth Bader Ginsburg is a fun one to talk about because she, if you think about it, you think of women in the arts, like why is the Supreme Court justice <laughs> hanging on this wall? But she is actually, she was a huge, huge supporter of the arts. And she actually played like a pretty big role in the Shakespeare Theater Company in Washington, DC. And she actually performed in small roles on stage for like a span of like 30 years. I think I'll speak about Madonna just from like an artistic perspective because I think that she obviously has impacted the music industry for 30 plus years. I wanted to kind of immortalize her in a way because she just, just her span of affecting like, you know, the music culture for so long. So I decided to do her in a gray scale and almost like make her statuesque. my style for the most part is pretty consistent across all of the different subjects and across anything that I paint like the color blocking like the smooth lines definitely influenced by my background in fashion illustration but I do try to like use color as definitely a vehicle of maybe like reflecting like the mood or the personality of the person that I'm trying to portray each person actually has a defining characteristic on their face, and it's not always the eyes. Sometimes it's the shape of the mouth, or sometimes it's literally just like the nose and the nostrils that'll be that quick, like, oh, there it is, there's that person. Well, Natalia's work is actually on display yep. all of April until April 30th, so go check out mm -hmm. her stuff. Don't miss it. A little more of the 215 after the break.